Boston? What's the sense of the group going into the elimination? Yeah, I mean, just coming ready to play, obviously, uh, you know, being ready for, for one game tomorrow and uh, going out there and executing and competing at a high level. What did you see when you look back at game three, Austin, for you and for the group? Yeah, I mean, I think we went through some video and stuff today. I think, um, you know, just staying connected on in all three zones is, is a big key for us and, and continue to try to get access to the front of the net, realize that it's, uh, you know, not always going to be the pretty play that's, uh, you know, going to be, uh, you know, putting the puck in the net, but just continue to get guys there and crash and, and get those second chance opportunities. How much responsibility do you, Willie, John, Mitch, feel to dig the team out of this one when the goals just haven't been going in? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously as leaders, you know, we, uh, you know, I want to be step up, be there for the team, and and uh, try to actually go out there, compete, and, and lead by example. How do you deal with pressure at a time like this? Just go out there and play hockey. I mean, that's what we've uh, done, been doing our whole life. You know, can't really focus too much on the outside noise, what you guys are saying, what everybody's saying. I mean, it doesn't really matter. All we can focus on is uh, how we approach this game and uh, the mental side of it, uh, and coming in with a purpose and focusing on uh, just one game here coming in. We learned about Joseph Wall that leads you to believe if he's called upon tomorrow, he's ready for a first Stanley Cup playoff start. Yeah, I mean, Wall has been, uh, you know, really solid for us when he's had to step in, and um, you know, I've known him since. Uh our, our junior days and I mean he's just made so much progress uh, you know as a goalie I think mentally as well and uh, just a really great guy he works hard he comes to drink every day with a smile on his face and he loves to get in there and compete so I mean I think we have all the confidence in the world whoever's uh, going to be getting the start that uh, you know, they're going to do a job for us and obviously we got to do a job for them as well. Where does belief come from in a situation like this when you've got this kind of mountain to climb? Just starts with one game. Starts with, like I said before, our attitude, our mindset going into this game, and you know, executing at a high level, competing. Um, you know, it's not about trying to go and win the series right now. It's about taking care of this game and being ready to go from the start and, uh, and taking care of business. Obviously, the odds are against you, but can that be liberating as well? Kind of like the pressure almost off a little bit. That you know, it's so hard to do. People maybe don't expect it. Sure. Just. One game at a time. We got one game tomorrow. I mean, we're not focused on anything past that, so that's it. What's the sense of the group going into the elimination game tomorrow? Uh, I mean, just, uh, you know, we know obviously what's at stake. We know what we got to do. And, um, you know, we've been a team that we've had our back against the walls and, you know, situations this year that uh, we've came through on top. So I'm um, just take it uh, coming tomorrow with, uh, you know, just a mindset that uh, belief and knowing that we can do it and just take it one game at a time. When you talk about how much is it just thinking one game at a time and are you here all that and kind of block out what the whole daunting task here is? I mean, yeah, I think I heard Austin say it and, um, you know, I think we've been saying it this whole time. I mean, we don't care what you guys say. We don't listen to you guys outside of this locker room. Uh, we're just focused on ourselves and uh, this group in here. How much do you, admit, you Austin, John, and Willie take responsibility feeling that you need to be the ones to really grab the team, drag it back into the fight? Well, I mean, I think everyone, um, you know, obviously we're the leaders and we want to be the ones to, to step our foot forward and make sure we're doing that. Um, but I think everyone on this team um, wants to do that as well. Um, we all know that we got a lot better to play and especially us. How do you deal with pressure at a time like this? Like I said, just don't focus on uh, outside noise. Don't focus on really anything on social media like I've been preaching all year long and um, don't listen to what you guys are saying. What about Joseph Wall? What gives you guys confidence that he can, uh, he can step up again? Um, anytime he's gotten the net for us, he's made big saves. He's, been, he's played some big games for us. So um, he's done it with the Marlies as well throughout his whole career. So um, you know he's used to big moments and he's played great in them. As you reflected on the, the video, whatever you watched after the game, what, what's the key to unplugging that kind of the ketchup ball, getting the offense kind of flowing again? Uh, you know, we'll leave that in the locker room and you know um, try to just put it to the ice tomorrow and do what we do. William, uh, when you look back on Game Three, kind of what what do you feel went wrong for the team? Um, I don't know. Maybe gave them uh, give them a breakaway. I think that was kind of a tough one when we've given up two breakaways, two games in a row that lead to being big goals in the in the game. But uh, I mean, I thought we were creating some chances and stuff, and for the most part in the third period. But uh, yeah, we got to get back to uh, just trying to take over the game. Where's your mindset at? You know, being down 0-3 and facing this challenge. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been down 0-3 in a playoff series uh, before. So, I mean, <clears throat> obviously next game is huge for uh, for our club, and we got to have our uh, our best game of the playoffs. So, what do you see is the biggest difference in the series so far? Why Sorry. Are you, why are you down 0-3? What do you see is the biggest difference? Well, yeah, they they've been playing good. Um, they've had a good goalie, and um, I mean. 
I just think they've been a good team, and we've just not been better than them clearly. So uh, I've got to try to uh, be better than them tomorrow. How surprising is it for you guys that you're finding yourself in this situation, considering how well last round went? Not the emotions around that. Um, well, I, like I said, I think Florida is a really good team. So um, I mean, you know, the playoffs is hard, and I mean, it's a small little place that can make a huge difference in the, in the series. And I think that's been a little bit of a case uh, this series, as I think was last series as well. How have you felt about your game? Yeah, I've been, I've felt pretty good. I mean, had chances and stuff, so um, not too worried. I think uh, just got to keep going and hopefully just find uh, find its way into the net. How do you deal with pressure like in a moment like this, facing elimination? I think it'll be fun tomorrow. Why? Because I think that's when you got to play your best. What'd you do yesterday to kind of clear your mind? Uh, just hung out. No, no, nothing really, um, nothing special. What have you learned about Joseph Wall that leads you to believe he's ready if he gets his first Stanley Cup playoff start? Yeah, I mean, you saw him in the regular season. He's been incredible for us uh, whenever he's been called upon. So um, I'm pretty confident in what he'll be able to do out there tomorrow if he plays. Uh, Sheldon, obvious question, uh, an update on, um, on uh, Ilya Samsonov and Joe Wall obviously going in now, what do you think? Yes, yeah, Sam, he's uh, not available tomorrow, day to day. Um, that's really it. Uh, Joe will go, and as I've been maintaining here, we've got lots of confidence in him, so we're excited for him to have that opportunity. Sheldon, uh, with Jake Muzzin having such a presence still around your team, I'm wondering, do you and can you lean on his experience on, on being part of a team that came back from this kind of deficit? Well, we lean on Jake a lot throughout the season, and some of it is spoken, but most of it is unspoken. It's just him, his presence being around and a lot of it can be more so through just his casual discussions with players. And, uh, yeah, I would think that, you know, they're, they're leaning on him a lot in, in this case. But as I maintain with the players, I, I, I don't think it makes any sense for us to, to sit here and focus on coming all the way back because you can't, there's only one game on the schedule right now. So let, let, let's focus on that one game, we need to win that one game. And then we can kind of take it from there. We're looking to build some positive momentum here as a team. And uh, with the one game that's on the schedule, that's where our focus is. Yeah, Sheldon, what are you looking to accomplish with the changes on defense we saw today? Just looking to change the group up a little bit, make it, uh, uh, try and get Brody on the, on the left side and, and see, see if that can help us. Uh, and then also, you know, he and McCabe it hasn't it hasn't gone the way that we we'd like it to here throughout well both series frankly, uh, so just trying to change the chemistry of the group a little bit there. Uh, we have lots of flexibility within our defense to try different things, and Brody and Hall have played a lot together throughout the season at different times, and, and have done a really good job. And you know, uh, Riley Shen have, have been really good for us, so we want to maintain that. So we fall on uh, on McCabe and, and Lilligren. And, and uh, with Jordano's presence there as well, it gives us a lot of options to, to be able to try different things and um, you know, think that it's, it, the timing's right to, 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 to change it up. Take two last ones, Josh, and then Josh. What's the nature of Ilya's injury? Upper body. And did you consider playing Matt Murray at all tomorrow? No. And Sh Sheldon, there's such a burden on John, Willie, Austin and Mitch, what, what's the message? It, it is one game, as you mentioned, but what's the message to them heading into that one game? Um, I, I'm sorry, I, I missed the beginning part of your question. I was thinking about sorry, there's, there's just a lot of pressure, a lot of burden on them to produce. The goals aren't going in. What's the message yeah. to those four in, in particular? Yeah, heading to the four. Yeah, um, the, the, message, the message is to focus on, again, just like, just like it doesn't make sense for us to sit here and focus on the fact that we've got to come back all the way to to uh, to win four because you can't win four tomorrow night. You can only win one, and the focus is winning the game. And uh, we have to do the things that are necessary to win the game. Scoring is part of that, but you know if if uh, you know like the other night it's Gustafson and it's Lafferty and I don't know if Camper pushed one in and we find a way to win three two. We're going to be okay with that. I think we'd live, we'd live with that. But if we're going to end up on the right side of it, it's because all those guys you mentioned that are, are key players and play as much or more than anybody, because they're doing 
the good, good things shift to shift. They're managing the game well, they're managing the puck well, they're competing, they're playing great defensively, they're minimizing their mistakes, and they're capitalizing on their opportunities. So it's all, that's all part of it. So let's, let's not get distracted from the things that really matter. Those guys carried us offensively through the Tampa series and came through at clutch times, scored us big goals, big moments. We're here playing uh, largely on the backs of how they came through for us in those moments. They'll come through for us again. But our team needs to take care of this situation right now. Everybody has to play their role, give us everything that they have, win one game, bring this thing back to Toronto, and you know, give us more time for all these other things to come together, you know. Um, we gotta win one game.